What's good, y'all? Um, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. <sighs> so, this morning I woke up, right? You know, I, I woke up. I, I did everything that I do any any morning. Um, you know what I'm saying, on a daily basis. And I woke up, washed my face, brushed my teeth. You know what I'm saying, regular shit. Um, took my final, as well as just got back from school. Um, so I woke up, and then after I brushed my teeth and I washed my face, I go on my phone, right? I'm on Instagram. Y'all, y'all read the title, so you already know what this video is about. Um, look, I'm gonna just cut right to the chase. I go on Instagram and I get, I get this post, um, from um, this Instagram account that I follow. He's a, a Patriot fan page. Um, I follow on Instagram called Past Perfect. So I get this post notification, right? It's a post about Josh Gordon. Um. So, so the first post is that he he's stepping away from the team to to deal with his mental mental health, um, which I mean t to tell you the truth, um, as as a Patriot fan, I'm sad as fuck for that man. Um, as a football fan, I want nothing more than for that man than the and to be healthy and for him to, to peace. have peace. Do uh, you know what I'm saying? As a fan of this team that's been supporting this team and every player on it, um, I wish nothing nothing more than, us, than for us to succeed this season. Um, obviously, we've had our ups and downs this year. You know what I'm saying? I think we're only 95, um, which isn't the worst that we've ever been. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we've been we've been down this road before. Um, I feel like we've been what's it called um, spoiled a lot. You know what I'm saying as a fan base because we're not used to seeing ourselves struggle this much. Um, but it kind of sucks, man. It, it really does suck because Josh Gordon was a huge part of this offense and a huge part of this team overall. Um, shit is shit is depressing. It's just sad, you know. Um, he had a huge impact on this team, and now he he is also suspended for abusing the drug policy, which which to me, I mean, honestly, doesn't make sense. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I know the man is stepping away to deal with his mental illness, and that, you know what I'm saying. Like I said, I was nothing but the best for him in that scenario. You know what I'm saying? I hope, I hope to God he finds peace um, and he gets better overall. <clears throat> Can I help you? Let's go. Filming the fit. How long is it going to take you? I don't know. I'm almost done. Okay. Well, hurry up so we can I take you. Niggas just like interrupting me, filming a video here. Um, but look, man. Regardless, you know what I'm saying. We have we have players in this team. You know what I'm saying that can step up, um, and and we're gonna need players that's, that that should be able to step up. Um, players like Cordell Patterson, players like Philip Dorsett who hasn't really played that much this season offensively, but has, um, you know what I'm saying, stepped up when needed. So, in the scenario that we are in now, we are gonna need both of those players to step up, you know what I'm saying? We still have, obviously, a good running, running situation going on with James White, Sonny Michelle, and um, Rex Burkhead. So, the running game is no problem. Um, and we still have Julian Edelman and, you know what I'm saying, Gronk. 
overall we should be good, man. I have absolutely no worries when it comes to finishing this season. Um, I still hope that we do end up winning um, these last two games, and hopefully the Texans can lose at least one so we can get a bye week. How was the um, objective contested? From where? Regardless of what happens this season, I feel I feel ever so confident in this team. Do you know what I'm saying? To, to make a huge run in the playoffs, um, as we've done before. You know what I'm saying? Hell, we went to the Super Bowl without Gronkowski. You know what I'm saying? In 2016, and we won. Niggas counted us out because we didn't have Gronk. You know what I'm saying? We were we were without Brady for four games. Um, I think it was that that same year. Do you know what I'm saying? That same year we were that we were without Tom for the fourth four weeks due to Deflate Gate. You know what I'm saying? Niggas thought we weren't gonna make the playoffs just because he was up for four games. So us losing Josh Gordon shouldn't diminish our season. Um, if anything, I think it only it only helps us. You know what I'm saying? Because now. It opens up um, more plays for other players, not just Julian Edelman and Gronkowski. You know what I'm saying? James White as well can get back to doing what he was doing before, like these last two weeks. Um, but other players as well, like I said, like I mentioned before, Cordell Patterson and Philip Dorsett can get involved now in this offense, which they are ever so going to be needed to be doing uh, moving forward. But like I said, man, Josh Gordon, I wish all the luck to him, man. Um, this obviously hurts for a lot, a lot of Patriot fans because we, you know, what I'm saying we took a chance. I feel like we took a chance with this man. We knew what we were getting ourselves into, but you know, what I'm saying he helped us a lot. I'm not gonna sit here and try to bash the man. I'm not angry. You know, what I'm saying I'm not mad. I'm not sad. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. I woke up this morning. I was like, I'm about to take my final. I go on Instagram, I'm not expecting nothing, right? That's not something you want to wake up to. I thought I thought the man was hurt or something. I was about to say, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe he just got an ankle injury. Maybe he's just dealing with some type of injury. Nope. But that's it for this video, man. Uh, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, all that shit. Uh, Leave some video suggestions down below in the comment section. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow in the, new, in the next video. Um, thank y'all for watching. Gotta go now. That was so terrible. Let me do that again.